Saudi Arabia is about to construct a brand new $200 billion city in the desert. The Line, a linear city in Saudi Arabia of 170 kilometers in length, destined to host a million inhabitants. No cars or carbon emissions, sustainable development is driven by renewable energy and new technologies. What is the benefit of building a city, or many walkable communities, in a line 100 miles long here? Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, has unveiled plans for a 100-mile belt of zero-energy walkable communities for a million people. The linear city will have no cars or streets, with all residents living within a five-minute walk of essential facilities. Bin Salman announced plans for the line in a video where he described it as a civilizational revolution that puts humans first. The proposed city within Neom, a high-tech development plan for Saudi Arabia's northwest coast, would carve a 170 kilometers long, 106-mile ribbon across the desert see map. There would be no fights over congestion charges or parking regulations because there would be no cars nor even streets for cars to drive on. Instead, it would be an urbanist stream with residents able to reach whatever they need within a five-minute walk. For the average person that is a distance of around 400 meters, shorter than two blocks in Manhattan, but apparently long enough for everything from schools to clinics and parks. The brochure is silent on the weather. Summer temperatures in the region hover around a not-so-walkable 40 degrees C, perhaps the heat is a surmountable obstacle, since the laws of physics seem to be. Should any of its one-meter potential residents wish to venture farther afield, longer journeys will be a pleasure. Ultra-high-speed transit should limit even the longest trip to a mere 20 minutes. If passengers are willing to pull a few Gs while accelerating, that would require speeds of up to 510 kph, about 25% faster than Japan's fastest bullet train, which is still being tested. All this would be powered, in the world's biggest petro state, by renewable energy with zero carbon emissions. First announced in 2017, Neom Apportment of Neo in Mistakbal, Arabic for future remains something of a blank canvas. There is talk of robot workers flying cars and glow in the dark sand on the beach. Foreign consultants eagerly lap up contracts to draft fanciful schemes. In the real world, though, little of this has advanced beyond PowerPoint slides. There is an airport and palaces where Saudi royals can summer. King Salman has holidayed in Neom for the past few years. The project is still many years away from attracting millions of residents.